Liam, 100 games for the club today. Uh, for some some way to market, wasn't it? Yeah, um, 100 games. You know, it's flown by. Um, I actually looked to think it was about two years ago and five or six days that I joined the club. So it's a it's a milestone. I'm very proud of. And yeah, to get a result here, yeah, very impressive. And especially with the way the last 10 minutes panned out as well. You uh, just told me the tunnel there was like basketball. Well, what what do you mean by that? Um, we were slightly desperate at the end, you know. Um, I, I really did feel like we deserved the point at least. Um, and the character was brilliant just to keep going. Uh, we had to throw people forward. Uh, there was a lot of tired people out there at the end, but we kept going and going and, and got a reward. And after, the, after we conceded as well, early on in the second half, um, how do you feel the team responded to that? Good, yeah. Um, it was disappointing to concede. Something we spoke about before the game, you know, the opposite winger drifting in. Um, and he did that today, uh, unopposed and, and, you know, put it away. So. It was disappointing because it was something that we could have um, cancelled out, but ultimately, yeah, we got our head down, we carried on and, and we reacted really well. And uh, we made some attacking changes as well and two of them uh, combined to sort of draw that penalty in the end. Uh, how do you feel uh, Josh and Mark did when they came on? Brilliant, yeah. Uh, the squad's taking shape. Um, we've got some fantastic players that are going to be really disappointed not to be starting the games, but, you know, there's no sulking. Uh, they came on, um, they showed what they're about and, yeah, to combine and get the, the penalty is credit to them and they'll be pushing to st for starts. And for Sam Bulldog as well, taking that penalty so late on in the game, uh, especially after going so close uh, a little bit before, that, that shows real nervous steal from him, doesn't it? Yeah, um, it shows balls, to be honest. Um, you know, it's a fantastic save. We watched it back, his, his effort. Um, but then to step up and, you know, like I say, have the balls to put it down and put it away, it's fantastic. And the kind of mentality we're going to need through this tough period. And he's um, been a little bit out of action uh, over the last year or so. For him to get off the mark in red and colours must be a real uh, real boost for him and the squad, I'm sure. Yep. Um, strikers love to score goals. Uh, the earlier they can do that, the better. And I'm sure he'll go on and score many more for the club. And uh, no real time to rest. We've got Watford in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice to work on a Premier League team to the Malaysia, I'm sure. Yeah, it'll be a tough, tough test again, but it's a cup that we want to progress in. Um, we've got a big squad, so it's obviously a good opportunity for the lads that are not getting uh, minutes at the minute to play. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity to, to progress and, and show what we can do against the Premier League team. And the manager said there's not really that much of a gulf in, uh, in quality between the players who aren't playing and the players who are at the moment. Do you feel that in training? Is there uh, quite a lot of competition going on? Lots of competition, yeah. You look at the players on the bench and uh, even some of them that didn't make the squad. It's a really difficult job for the manager, but all we can do as players is um, train hard and when we do get the opportunity to show what we can do.